Try to punch it in the end zone. That was the message we got from the Bears on Friday. And Hoyer starting with a pass on first down. Dangerous, but caught by Alshon Jeffrey. A gain of 11 and a first down for the Bears. Two minutes to go in the first quarter here in Chicago. Play action. Hoyer was looking deep. Now he'll try a deep shot for Jeffrey. A flag is down. And there's contact down there with Jalen Ramsey. That was a matchup we highlighted in our open, Jeffrey and Ramsey. Well, there's flags everywhere. There's flag on the near side of the 32, and there's two flags inside the five on the far side. Every official's getting into the act now as Cleet Blakeman will sort this out. Certainly there was offensive pass interference at the end of that as Jeffrey, Jeffrey kept the defender from intercepting it, but I think there was also a penalty early on. No doubt, Amakamura on the near side to us uh, they, were, they were trying to get uh, Bellamy on a double move over the top, and Amakamura just slammed right into him. That's the flag that's going to be enforced. There are fouls against both teams on the play. Pass interference, offense number 17. Illegal contact, defense number 21. Those penalties offset will replay first down. Yeah, Alshon Jeffrey kind of tapped himself. He said, yeah, I, I did interfere, and he was, it was a good play by him at the end of that. Now. It was a good play by Hoyer, too. Give the guy a chance to make it. Now, he didn't know any of these penalties were going to be called, but give that guy. Third and nine. Hoyer looking sideline. Jeffrey's got it for a first down. Ramsey slipped on the coverage, and Al Shad Jeffrey moves the chains for the Bears. And, the, and there you see Ramsey really well established about this young first-round draft choice out of Florida State. He likes to jaw, likes to trash talk a little bit. But Alshon Jeffrey, I don't think he's going to get caught up in it. He's just going to go about his business and try and school the young cornerback today because they're going to be matched up most every play, I believe. It did rain overnight here in, here in Chicago. As we showed you a chance of storms later this afternoon. Tarp was on the field for a bunch of pregame. Well, they're taking a shot, and it's incomplete. Jeffrey had some separation from Ramsey. Well, you talked about it last throw down the field, the one they called the P.I. on Alshon Jeffrey. Boyer gave him a chance at least to make the play here. No excuse to put this ball over the top and out of the end zone. Alshon Jeffrey one-on-one -on -one against the rookie. You got to give him a chance to make that play. I'll tell you what, Jalen Ramsey's getting a little bit of a lesson here on how a guy who's been in the league and is the number one guy runs routes. Uh, he's following Jeffrey around, although Jeffrey came off for a, a breather. Third down and eight. Jaguar showing blitz. Chicago two for two on third downs this drive. Hoyer with a hand in his face, still completes it. And Alshon Jeffrey breaks free. Jeffrey pushed out of bounds by Cyprian. But a gain of 27 for Alshon Jeffrey. And Jalen Ramsey again on the coverage, missed a tackle. A super nice job by, Bob, by Brian Hoyer right here. You don't see the pressure coming on him, but Alshon Jeffrey getting physical with Ramsey. He's a big, big guy. Ramsey's got to do more than try and touch him with his hands, but you see Hoyer right there. The Jaguars came with a, a really nice delayed bit blitz, had two guys coming free right in Hoyer's face. He still delivers a strike on the outside. Big, big play for the Bears. Not only is Hoyer not throwing it, that's the kind of athletes this Jacksonville team has defensively. Third down and six. Bears are six for eight on third downs. They've made five in a row. Hoyer. Jeffrey for a first down, right in front of Jalen Ramsey. Fifth catch today for Alshon Jeffrey. He's got 77 yards receiving in the first half. Well, it's not getting any better for Jalen Ramsey. Alshon Jeffrey is really having a good first half. Numbers. So the Bears taking advantage of that today, exposing them. Second and ten. Hoyer sideline. Jeffrey. He's got another. Sixth catch for Alshon Jeffrey. Remember all those whispers about Hoyer wasn't finding Jeffrey enough? Well, number six for Jeffrey today. Don't forget, come on. John Fox said, until Jay is 100% good to go, we do not need to make a decision. Right now, Hoyer has been looking good, but that pass intended for Jeffrey is incomplete. And that is going to be an interesting decision when the time comes, uh, con assuming that Hoyer continues to play at the level that he's playing. You know, you got a very positive response from the whole team to his presence out there on the field. And, you know, a lot has been made of, of, of that issue with Jay Cutler. 
Bears down by one. Hoyer, incomplete miscommunication with Jeffrey on the sideline, and Jalen Ramsey has done a great job in this second half. On fourth down, Hoyer steps up, fires, broken up by Ramsey! Jalen Ramsey's had a huge second half, and he makes the play of the day for Jacksonville. On a day coming in when Alshon Jeffrey and the Bears were taking some criticism because they didn't get the ball to him enough. They gave it to him the entire first half at the expense of Jalen Ramsey. He was shaking his head, throwing his hands in the air as Alshon Jeffrey absolutely abused him in the first half. And when the game on the line, they go back to Jeffrey and Ramsey he, he makes baited, the play. He baited Hoyer into that throw and timed it perfectly. What it says a lot to me about this kid is his ability to shake it off Come back, not waver in his confidence. Tremendous way for him to end that ball game.